Hi guys, my name's Bryce and I'm responsible for the Warman project part of this course, which includes getting you guys up to speed on using the Arduino, not simply the hardware, but also the software programming behind it, as you're going to need those skills to make your Warman projects really great. Most of you probably saw me in the lecture, so you know who to come to during the tutes and the labs if you need help on your Warman project or any parts of the tutorials you've got problems with. Also, I answer the emails. I also look after the emails address Warman help. So if you need any help or you've got any questions outside of class hours, just email me using the Warman help tag and I will get on that as quickly as possible. Okay, first we've got the Arduino chip. Arduino is an open source electronics platform created by an Italian company also called Arduino that uses a pretty easy to use plug and play method of attaching electronics and programming using C, which is a relatively easy programming language to get your head around, especially considering you guys have had experience with MATLAB and the syntax and all that sort of stuff is relatively similar. The programming interface is pretty easy, it color codes different parts of the code so you know what's an integer, what's a function, etc. And it won't let you upload code that isn't internally consistent, so if it has errors or if you're missing brackets and that sort of thing. We'll be using the 11, it's created by an Australian company called Freetronics. It is a variant of the Arduino Uno, so if you come across any tutorials or instructions online about different circuits you can make or parts you need to program and they say they're using the Arduino Uno you can just assume that the instructions will work exactly the same as for the 11 they are virtually identical the chip itself costs 60 bucks so don't go melting it or breaking it or anything we will expect you guys to replace it if it's damaged or melted in whatever way the easiest place to do that is to buy one from JCard. And next we've got the Freetronics kit. This is what the Arduino 11 comes in. It also has jumpers, LEDs, digital buttons, resistors, diodes, transistors, and a variable resistor together with a servo and some sensors. So using these parts we're going to construct some circuits and you can use these parts in order to assist in making your Warman project. The kit itself costs about 100 bucks. That includes the Arduino, so again, if you're missing parts of it, it will be easier for you guys to replace individual parts rather than the whole kit itself due to the cost because resistors cost a lot less than $100. You can pick up most of these parts from JCAR so don't stress about that, they'll only cost a couple of bucks each. Next we've got the breadboard which is what we use to connect the circuit that you're going to be making without having to spend time soldering the wires together and getting burns on our fingers. As you can see on the right, the breadboard is connected in two different ways. We've got the horizontal power rails and then we have the vertical rails that are connected so that you can create circuits more easily so you can use this schematic to work out how your circuit is connected together so it's easier for you guys to understand the breadboard itself costs 20 bucks next we've got the servo motor which is a small geared motor that allows us to precisely change the angle it uses only three cables a positive cable, a negative cable, and a signal cable. Don't worry about the different cables right now, we'll be using the servo in tutorial 3 to look at analog inputs and outputs. The servo costs about 15 bucks, they're not particularly expensive, you can pick these up pretty much anywhere, so if it's damaged, just buy another one. Next we've got a DC electric motor, pretty cheap, pretty simple. Um, yeah, not much to talk about. Don't try and use this to power your Warman project. It cannot handle any current and it will just burn out. You'll have to invest in your own motors for that, unfortunately. This is the motor controller. Um, we can use it to control up to four motors separately because the Arduino 11 cannot handle the types of currents and voltages that the motors that you guys are going to need for your Warman project will require. The stepper motors that you can attach to this have two inputs and two outputs which allow it to precisely change the angles instead of guessing the timing for how far your Warman uh, robot needs to go you will be able to precisely say it's this many steps it's that many steps whatever it also comes with a series of posts nuts and bolts which can be used to attach it to objects or whatever so we will expect all of those back as well um, the ones you're getting are red um, this one's blue because I couldn't find a nice picture of the red one, so uh, deal with it. The cost of this is about $50. If you are intending on soldering any parts to this, 
then you will have to buy us a replacement one. Next we've got a multimeter, you can use it to check the voltage, current and resistance of an electronic circuit. These are going to be really important for you guys, especially in your Warman projects because a lot of people have a tendency to apply too much current to their Arduino circuits and manage to burn a lot of things out. Uh, we want to stop you guys doing that, so we've provided you with these multimeters. We'll be using them in the chutes, so we can get you guys accustomed to checking voltages and currents as you go. It costs about 20 bucks, I think you can pick them up from JCAR, so not particularly expensive. This is a LiPo battery, we're using them to power just the Arduino chips for your projects. Um, don't use them to power your motors, the motors draw too much current and you'll damage the battery. Uh, it's 1200 milliamp hour size will allow it to keep the Arduino going for quite a while, but it won't support the motors. It costs about $30, so you can just buy them online. This is the LiPo battery charger we'll be using. It allows you to charge a battery as well as run your Arduino at the same time, and it charges using a micro USB cable, the same cable that is included in your Arduino 11 boxes. We're providing you with this charger rather than having you guys going and hunting your own down because it includes some integrated circuitry to stop your batteries overheating and exploding when they're fully charged. This costs about $30, again you'll be able to buy this online. And uh, your ones don't have a DC port so pretend that's not there. This is a 9 volt battery, I hope it's not the first time you've come across one in your life. Uh, it costs $5. We'll need you guys to buy us a new one if you run this one flat before the end of semester. Uh, these are the sensors that are included in the kit. The first one on the bottom left is a piezoelectric sensor and a speaker. So you can use it either as an output and to make annoying little tinny sounds or as an input to measure sound levels in the room around you. On the top left we've got a light sensor which detects light intensity as light is shone upon it. That's all there is from this presentation. I hope it's given you a, just a general overview of the kits that we'll be using for the tutorials and also as a basis for your Warman project. I will see you guys in the chutes. Uh, so until then.